In recent years, the use of lasers by dermatologists has been on the increase. With the increased use have come refinements in laser technology. Dr. Timothy Joshin of Concert Dermatology in Palm Springs explains how different types of lasers are used to treat different skin problems. Dermatology has been using lasers for a very long period of time. There was a group out of Boston that developed this theory of selective thermolysis. And with this theory, what it states is that each element in the skin, for example, blood, pigmentation, or water, um, has a specific target wavelength. And so that wavelength will heat up either blood ignoring the rest of the tissue, or it will heat up water ignoring the rest of the tissue, or heat up pigmentation, whether it's a tattoo or a um, pigmented lesion in the skin, for example, a sun freckle, an age spot, or whether, whatever you want to call it. And that's when lasers really exploded in the field of dermatology, because now if you have red blood vessels on the face, you can use a specific laser just to target that blood vessel and destroy it. Same thing with the brown spots, the age spots that you see on the hands. Now you can specifically target the pigment in those um, age spots and destroy them without damaging the surrounding tissue. And so what this allowed dermatologists to do was, was to treat specific areas without leading to scarring or destruction of the surrounding tissue. In my practice, I use several different lasers. It really depends on what people come to me and want to have treated. One of the most common things people come to me for is rosacea or broken blood vessels on the face. And I have a terrific laser called the V-beam laser, which specifically targets the blood inside the blood vessel. I like to use a specific laser that was developed for um, a specific application. I have the V-beam that will take care of the redness in the face, the flushing of the face, the broken blood vessels of the face. I also can use it for other applications for example, port wine stains or birthmarks, those red birthmarks that people get. It's terrific at taking care of those. Um, it, it will also help people with KS. If they have KS lesions on their body, I can treat those. Another laser that I use is the Alexandrite laser. It's a um, 755 wavelength laser. And what this laser does is it targets the pigmentation in the hair follicle and um, it heats up the hair follicle, thus destroying the hair follicle. I do quite a bit of tattoo removal in my practice. And it there are several factors that will impact how well a tattoo is removed. First of all, what color is it? The darker the tattoo, the more likely are we are to be able to get rid of it. For example, blacks go away much easier than a red or a green. Um, second thing is, um, is it a professional or an amateur tattoo? And believe it or not, the amateur tattoos are much easier to get rid of than the, than the professional tattoos. So that's also very beneficial. Um, and also the type of ink that they use in the tattoo depends on how well the um, tattoo will go away. For example, there are certain dyes that are used in red tattoos that will actually turn black when you try to treat them with a laser as opposed to disappearing. So those are the factors that, that um, determine whether a tattoo will go away or not. One of the things I frequently get asked uh, about is sun damaged skin and sun damaged skin includes brown spots wrinkles and and broken blood vessels now there are several lasers on the market and these are called non-ablative lasers with non-ablative lasers what we do is we um, try to stimulate collagen and get rid of wrinkles by heating the skin deep and not causing any superficial damage to the skin now for people that have severe severely sun damaged skin these non-ablative lasers just aren't going to work unfortunately and we still have the gold standard CO2 laser. This is an ablative laser that will superficially ablate the skin and um, stimulate, the body's, um, stimulate the body to produce new skin, new collagen. And it, the results in treating wrinkles and aging are very dramatic with this laser. You can take off 10 years with a CO2 laser. Now, it sort of fell out of vogue for a, short, for a period of time because it does have some side effects. The more damage that you do, the more likely you are to have side effects. And so with this laser, you do have risks of losing some of the pigmentation in your skin. And so that's one of the risks that you have to take when you do a CO2. But the results with the CO2 are so dramatic and, and, and so impressive that, that I encourage many of my severely sun-damaged people to use this laser.